And that's what gives this engine a lot more ability to make a lot more power is because it can utilize that turbo a lot better than the higher compression ratio. <laughs> What's going on today guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are with this beautiful 2021 Ram 3500 with the notorious high output 6.7 Cummins that puts out over a thousand foot pounds of torque. And today we're gonna to talk about what makes this engine so powerful. Here at Backroads Garage today, they've given me the opportunity to review their 2021 Ram 3500. Beautiful truck. They do great work here. If you guys are in southwestern Ontario, feel free to check them out. I'll put the link down in the description. Great guys, do great work. Um, but yeah, let's get to the video. So the previous generation of Ram truck, the, the fourth gen um, from 2010 to 2018, obviously still had the 6.7 Cummins, slightly different, little less power. Power ratings running from like 350 to 385 foot, uh, horsepower, as well as like 610 to just over 900 foot pounds of torque, all depending on the actual configuration of the truck. I know in 2013, uh, Ram introduced the ASIN transmission. So if you had the ASIN transmission with the dually, you could get a lot more power out of this Cummins. Um, however, what I thought was kind of interesting is if you had the manual option, yes, the manual option, the fourth gen was the last generation of Ram truck to have a manual transmission with the Cummins. Um, it was actually the lowest output Cummins you could get in these trucks. I believe they had 350 horsepower and only like 610 foot pounds of torque where like I said with the ASIN I believe you could get a configuration with over 900 foot pounds of torque so quite a bit of difference just with the configuration of truck now in 2019 with the new generation the fifth gen Ram trucks here Cummins announced that their engines would be putting out a thousand foot pounds of torque as well as 400 horsepower with the high output version now like i mentioned earlier this is a 2021 so this actually has more power they bumped it up again in 2021 this has a thousand and seventy five foot pounds of torque as well as 420 horsepower which is kind of crazy for a pickup truck so i guess the question is what did cummins do to give you guys so much power in these new fifth gen Ram trucks. So starting with the engine block, Cummins introduced a new graphite compact iron block. This adds strength uh, as well as actually reducing some weight, which is always beneficial. I know these Cummins engines are always uh, notorious for being very heavy and uh, they still are. However, this is going to help reduce some of that weight. Now they have really beefed up the bottom end on these newer Cummins as well. Crankshaft is a stronger alloy. Connecting rods are stronger. Uh, the main bearing caps are stronger. The main bearing bolts are actually bigger, making them stronger. The piston wrist pins are thicker, making them stronger as well. They slightly tweak the turbo. Now this turbo can put out up to 33 pounds of boost, which is a lot of boost. Now, some things that I do not like that they added to this newer Cummins is, well, the fuel pump, the CP4 fuel pump that was uh, introduced in 2019 and 2020. However, in 2021, it was taken away because, well, the CP4 fuel pump is not the greatest. Also, they introduced um, hydraulic lifters into this engine. Uh, Cummins claimed that that would reduce noise and vibration having hydraulic lifters versus solid lifters. They also said hydraulic lifters would eliminate some maintenance, which is true. However, hydraulic lifters, in my opinion, are just not as reliable or as strong as a solid lifter. And yes, you do have to adjust them from time to time. However, we are talking about an engine that's meant for work and I'd rather have a stronger component than a component that's there to reduce noise and vibration and, you know, ease of use. Now, the standard output Cummins and the high output Cummins 
share probably like 95% of components. So what actually makes the high output version make more power? So I think the main contributing factor is, well, this may look like just like an air filter, but there's actually a bottle of NOS in here. And that's what contributes to the extra power. Just kidding guys, the main contributing factor that makes this engine different than the standard output is the compression ratio. So this compression ratio on the high output is actually lower than the standard output. So the standard output is 19 to one, which is a pretty high compression ratio, very efficient engine. And this compression ratio is 16.2 to one. So it is actually a less efficient engine with that lower compression ratio, but it allows you to make more power. Now that may seem kind of contradicting. However, with a lower compression ratio, it allows this engine to utilize the turbo and the boost much better. And that's what gives this engine a lot more ability to make a lot more power is because it can utilize that turbo a lot better than the higher compression ratioed standard output engine. So in theory, the high output Cummins is actually going to be less fuel efficient than the standard output. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because for the average Joe who just needs to tow every now and again, the standard Cummins is going to be a very efficient engine and can still tow when you need it. But for those guys that need that extra power and aren't too worried about efficiency of the engine, this high output Cummins will deliver all that power you need. The other interesting point about utilizing the turbo more, um, that gives this engine a much lower peak torque RPM. So the standard Cummins peak torque is at 1700 RPM, which is not that bad, but this high output Cummins peak torque RPM is 1350 RPM, which is very low. Having a peak torque at lower RPMs is always beneficial when you're towing because it allows you to get off the line that much quicker. It allows power to be delivered to your wheels that much faster. Um, so it is a benefit to have a peak torque at a lower RPM, which this high output Cummins has. Now, in order for this high output Cummins to have a different compression ratio, the pistons are most likely gonna have to be different. Now, I couldn't really find that much information online about this, I looked for a long time, but either the pistons are different or the heads are different, and I highly doubt Cummins would take the time and money to put different heads on this engine. I imagine the pistons are slightly different, that's what gives this engine a lower compression ratio. <clears throat> now, along with that, I would imagine that there is some fueling differences with this engine. Either the injectors are slightly tuned more or have the ability to inject more fuel, um, I also believe that the fuel pump is probably um, tuned to have a little bit more pressure, a little bit more flow, because with more boost, you're gonna need more fuel. So there is probably some changes in the fueling system as well in comparison to the standard output engine. But once again, I just couldn't find that much information online, um, you know, directly talking about the mechanical differences in terms of the... So if you guys have any insight on that, feel free to drop a comment down below. Always love reading what you guys have to say. Now, finally talking about differences between the high output and the standard output, there will be a different tune on the ECM. Um, you know, that has a lot to play with this engine. Looking back at the previous generation of truck with the, the older style of six, seven Cummins, uh, when I was talking about the different power um, outputs in, in comparison to the ASIN transmission or the manual transmission, that six, seven Cummins for those generations of trucks had basically no mechanical difference. It was purely an ECM tune difference. So having a different ECM or a different tune on these engines makes a large difference. And I would imagine that that is a big contributing factor to the power outputs that these engines make. Either way, guys, if you have the standard output or the high output, both are very strong, capable 6.7 Cummins engines, and you're gonna have a lot of fun with them. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. As always, if you did, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you on board, but uh, enough of me. We'll see you in the next freaking video. 